Kids Zombie, and today I'm going to be doing the BU tag made by Be Who You Want 92, and I will link her down below so you can check her out. And I will also leave the questions down below so you guys can check those out too. This is a really deep tag, like it really just digs down deep, and you can really just even get to know yourself when you're re reading it or doing this tag. And I think it's a really nice thing, you know, to just really feel good about yourself just with this tag, you know. Just with this tag. So there are 10 questions. And so I'll start with number one. It says, what is the most inspirational thing you've ever heard or seen? For me, the most inspirational thing I ever heard or seen was um, before I got together with my husband. He, um, he went to the doctor for a checkup. And at his checkup, they saw something was up with his heart. So he got a heart cath. And they basically told him that he had to come in the next day and to have heart surgery. And so he went in the next day and he had a quintuple heart bypass. My God, he died twice. And, you know, like within a week he was walking again. And I was just, that is just really inspirational to me. I mean, most people that have quintuple heart bypasses, I mean, people that are dying, you know. Um are going to be walking within a week of their surgery. And it's really inspirational to me. He just... You know, he just uh, overcame it all, and he's here today, and he's a wonderful father, and he's a wonderful husband. Number two is, who inspires me the most? My husband inspires me the most. I mean, with, the, you know, the previous question, I was telling you about how he just, you know, had to freaking die to stay alive, and, you know, was up and walking a week from then. How could that not inspire me, you know, to be the best person I can be, to be strong, you know, to overcome all the bullshit, you know, in life and all that crap. You know, he is just a really big inspiration to me. Number three is, what is something you don't like about yourself? How can you make it a positive, and I cut off the question when I screenshot of this. I think it's a positive thing. Something I don't like about myself is... That I tend to be a little bit mean, like, uh, I guess, you know, most people be like, oh, it's an Aries thing. She's just mean because she's an Aries. No, I'm, I'm kind of mean because when I was younger, people were mean to me. So in turn, it's more of a defensive mechanism more than it is me trying to just be a complete bitch because I can be a complete bitch. So it's like this defensive thing, you know, instead of getting, you know, defending yourself, you can just be on the defensive right away and it just comes off as you're being a mean bitch. And one way I can make it positive is to let people speak, you know, not attack people before they have a chance to, you know, hurt my feelings or something. Sit back, just let someone say their piece and not attack them right away before I hear what they have to say. That's one way I can make it positive. Uh, number four is what's my best quality? My best quality is that I love with all my heart. If I know someone and I care about them and I... Think, I mean, they, I believe them to be my friend, you know, my, my children, I love my children with all my heart, and my friends, they're like family to me, and uh, that is my best quality, that I can love with all my heart, and just, I got lots of love to share. Uh, what is something other people pick on you for, or don't like about you, and how do you deal with it? I haven't really been picked on too much lately, and if I am picked on, it's probably through YouTube, and people just pick on me because they don't like the way I look, or they pick on me because they don't, uh, they think that I'm not great at things I do, when I obviously state that I'm not no freaking expert, I'm not a professional, and I'm doing this stuff for fun, so if you want to say that my eyebrows look like shit, then go right ahead, because I suck at eyebrows. You want to say that my acrylic nail stuff sucks? It's for beginners. I'm not a professional. It was basically my second time doing that. So, you know, you can hate on me all you want, and to be honest, I will delete your comment if you're being a dick, because I don't have to see that shit on my channel. So that's what people pick on me for. They just kind of pick at me where they can. And the way I deal with it is just basically fuck off. <laughs> um, number six, what does others say your best quality is? I think others would say my best quality is my humor and probably my laugh. I have a very, very, I guess in a way you could say it's, it's a ridiculous laugh. Like when I'm seriously belly laughing, I sound like the most ridiculous person on the planet. And my laugh makes other people laugh. And I have a sense of humor that's kind of on the naughty side, like on the dirty side. I I can take something someone says and turn it to the most dirtiest joke ever and just laugh about it and wait while everybody's sitting there scratching their forehead trying to catch up to the joke. 
Is there anything you do to keep your confidence up? To keep my confidence up, I just try and, you know, pep talk myself. Uh, and I can't be the only person that pep talks myself, you know, in the mirror. Like when I was younger, I used to do the same thing but to down on myself. I would look at myself in the mirror and repeat the same things people would say and the mean things. But you know what? I turn that around and I can just be like, hey, you know what? You are sick today, but you know what? You have two babies that need ya. And they love ya, so get your ass in gear. Number eight is what is the best advice on how to deal with negativity? The, the best advice I can give you on how to deal with negativity is just don't let it get to you. Do not let what someone says get to you. Because you know what? They're super insecure too. They probably had something happen to them. Now, I'm not saying, you know, you have to just forgive them and stuff. You don't. If you don't want to, you don't have to forgive someone, you know. If you want to just say, fuck that person, I don't forgive them, then you can go right ahead. You don't have to forgive and forget if you don't want to. If you want to remember it, remember that that's the kind of person you don't want to be around and remember that that's not the kind of person you want to turn into. So, you know, you don't have to forgive and forget. You can not forgive and remember and not to turn into that person or not deal with people like that. Another way to deal with negativity is just to tell a person to straight up fuck off because you don't have to deal with their shit. You are an adult, and if you're not an adult, you still don't have to deal with people's shit because you are a person too. You are human. Everybody is human. doesn't matter what you look like, how big or small you are, what color you are. You are human. You deserve to be treated like human. You don't need to get disrespected by anyone one. So, there we go. That's how you can deal with negativity. Uh, number nine is, what is the best compliment you have ever received? The best compliment I ever received was being told that I was a really great mother. <clears throat> that one is like, you know, really straight to the heart. It makes me feel really good about myself. Because, oh, I'm trying not to cry here. Um, when I first had my son, my mother, she was really really mean person and uh she's like your son he or he's crying too much tegan's crying too much by the way he was really colicky after i switched his bottles he was better but in the beginning he was super colicky and he cried a lot you know because he didn't feel good and so my mom's like babies aren't supposed to cry that much he's crying too much you're not doing good enough blah blah blah, blah. she basically said everything but that I'm a bad mother but she basically said everything that would make me feel like I'm a bad mother and being told by my husband that fuck her and that I'm a great mother it you know it, <laughs> it was the best compliment I ever received cuz oh fuck her seriously um, <laughs> because I am a great mother and I love my kids and I do anything for my babies number 10 is say something inspirational and for me I just gotta tell you guys just love yourself don't listen to people's insulting bullshit. They don't know what life you're going through. They don't know what you're going through. They don't know what you're going to go through. They don't know what your past is. So don't let what someone says get to you. You need to just be confident in yourself and be happy with yourself. And if you're not happy with yourself, do something that will make you happy with yourself. You don't have to be miserable. You can be happy. Everybody deserves to be happy.